Hi, how are you? This is Drea and I'm coming at you with my three month update for my VSG surgery that I had done on April 20th, 2015. I hope you guys have had a great week and thank you guys so much for the encouragement. Last week, I didn't really get a stats update, but I did update you guys on what was happening with me and how I was feeling. Um, so I just want to thank you everybody for following me and giving me those words that I needed to keep on pushing. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you my stats since I didn't give them to you last week. I wasn't able to. Uh, let's see. I'm 30 years old. I'm 5'8". Highest recorded weight, I was 326, which is the start of my pre-op diet, which was two weeks prior to my surgery. Uh, day of surgery, I was 305. Today, I'm coming at you at 251.6, which is a, let me look, 4.8 pound loss for um, the two weeks since I didn't get an update you guys last week. A 15.6 loss for the month and a 74.4 pounds loss since my highest recorded weight. I'm 0.6 pounds away from being 75 pounds down. I should have drank more water. <laughs> anyways, or I should have had the bag of chips. I should have, you know. Anyways, um, I'm still happy with that. I mean, who could be really depressed about almost 75 pounds in three and a half months? Not a lot of people. I mean, on normal, if I wouldn't have had the VSG surgery, I probably would have gained weight during my vacation to Colorado but, and eating the bag of chips would have just kept spiraling out of control but it didn't and I'm back on track and I feel very good about that. This is the reason why I got the surgery because I do do self-sabotage. I mean I'm like a pro at it. Sorry for that. There's my dryer. As you know it's laundry day. Sunday fun day in my house is laundry. Um. Anyway so yeah I got the surgery because of this. You know I, I was tired of the self-sabotage and then not being able to get back on track because I get depressed because I gain weight, you know, stuff like that. Sooner or later, I know whenever I self-sabotage, it will be worse and I will prob probably gain a pound or two. But a pound or two is better than five to ten. That's what I normally gain on a vacation, which is ridiculous. That's the reason why I was 326 pounds. So other than that, life has been great. I don't really have any complaints about the surgery at all. Um, I still cannot gulp water. I can't um, do anything like that. I did watch a video that this woman was able to like literally chug her water. And I was like, man, wish I could do that. But on another hand, I'm very happy with what I can do. Uh, when I'm, since I've been back home, I've been on track with my eating. And I, which I got home on Friday night, I actually started eating better on Friday day. Um, during the road trip, which was kind of a rough, you know, it was in my head, like, eat those chips, eat those chips, eat those chips. And so you kind of have to fight that off. But it's all in my head. It's not really my stomach that wants it. It's not really, like, me. It's just all in my head. Um, yeah, I'm a little cuckoo, I guess. So, anyways. Uh, I, yeah. So I'll go ahead and get to my skin flick, since you guys kind of want to see what Dre is working with this month. And, uh, let's see, yeah, I said I was, yeah, down 15.6 pounds this month. Very happy with that number. I want to be in the two teens by the time I go to Atlantis in October. Um, and so that gives me about two, three months. It's a very, very beginning of October. So you've got July, August, to September. Yeah, two months to possibly drop about 30 to 40 pounds. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to start my Jillian Michaels 30-day shred. So you guys will be able to get an update from me every week about how that's going and what I see changes in. And I will not be giving skin flicks every week because I feel like that's a little too much. But I will definitely do pictures every week so you guys can see side by side what that kind of looks like. Um, and what my results and how I'm feeling about it. It is a very difficult workout. Um, but you can modify the workout. You don't have to do it exactly what she's doing and she doesn't have a modified version on there. So you can version, there's like three people that are doing three different kind of, you know, she's doing her version and then you've got the high intensity and you got the low intensity girl. So yeah, take your time if you decide to do that. And I'm all about it. I really see results and 
I'm very happy with her kicking my ass. <laughs> so yeah, I start that tomorrow. I'm really excited. And you'll get to see why I'm going to start that because this skin situation, um, we all knew that was going to happen. But I feel like because I've been overweight since of the age of hmm, 12, that um, I knew I was going to have skin issues. And I mean, yeah, I was a yo-yo dieter. So I knew that already going into this. So I really don't have any complaints about like, you know, the skin issue, but I I mean, as in, I'm like, oh, boo-hoo, I have skin. No, I mean, I knew it was going to happen, so it's not a big deal. Anyways, yeah, uh, what else do I have to report? This week, I'm going to try to do these um, Reuben roll-ups that I found on Pinterest uh, because I really do love Reubens. I love them. Um, I'm going to modify it a little bit because I feel like, because, I'm sorry, I just ate lunch. It's horrible. So I'm going to modify it a little bit because I feel like whenever I go to work, I need it to be a little bit easier than what it looks like. It looks like a hot mess. Um, so I think I'm going to do the cheese and the sauerkraut inside of the um, corned beef, which is really hard to find. And then I'm just going to do like Thousand Island on the side. I'm not going to do the, I'm, I think I get the, yeah, what did I get? The low fat Thousand Island or something like that. Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, okay, well, I'll go ahead and get to my skin since I don't have a lot to say. Um, if you guys don't want to see it, then I'll see you guys next week. But if you do, then it'll be here in just a minute. All right, see you guys in a minute. Hey. Okay, so here is what I am working with. Um, if you want to, you can go back on my other monthly videos and you can see I do a skin flick every month. So you guys can kind of see what I'm working with every month. Um, I've been noticing I've been doing this a lot lately, uh, which is not very impressive with my arms, but I don't know. It seems like it's more comfortable whenever I'm going like this. So anyways, here is my arms. As you guys can see, whenever I turn them like this, you guys can see like where my arm really is versus all this great stuff here. Fun stuff, my fun flaps, my little bat wings I got going on. Um, they're pretty much, they're still full, um, uh, but hopefully Jelly and Michaels that I start will help that. Yeah, I just ate lunch, so, <laughs> excuse me, but, um, all right, so here is me from the front. I do notice that this is a little bit more baggy. I wash it every time, every week. I wash it every week, so it is fresh out of the dryer. It's never been worn, anything like that, so you guys can see, and these are the same way. These are the shorts that I wore in the very first video and you can see how much actually used to be like pretty tight on me and now they're, they're pretty loose. So here is me from the front and then here's me from the side and then this is me from the back. Sorry, let me, yeah. So this is me from the back and this is me with my hands up from the side um, and then me from the front again. So I'll go ahead and get to my skin so I can make this really fast. Um, if you don't want to see it, then I'll see you next week. But if you want to see it, then keep watching. So here we go. Here is Drea's awesome skin. As you can tell, I never wear a bikini ever. That's the reason why my legs are super tan and this is super pasty. <laughs> so anyways, okay, here it is. As you can see, my indentions, I have like a little indentions that go on here. That's because I got this, my fat abs going on. <laughs> so you can see the indentions a little bit um, more prominent. My hips, I, I don't know, like they start like, it feels like they start all the way up here. They probably they start, they start down here though in the middle. But I have this like, whoop, and then it goes out again. So um, that's been indented a little bit more. Um... You guys can get a better view of, I've got my mother's apron and I've got my mini mother's apron seem like it going now. Underneath there, there is a belly button, um, but it's, it's a little bit less full, so that's nice. I don't think this will ever go away or this, so plastics is later on. I have no clue what the hell I'm going to do, but we'll see. I'll try to work myself out to death until I figure out there's nothing I can do about it. 
Um, here is me from the side. I've noticed that this is not sticking. This part is not sticking out as much as it used to. So that's really nice. This is not sticking out as much as it should be. So that's kind of bad. Uh, whenever I put my hands up to the side, you can see completely underneath my little gills that I have going on here. This is me from the back. And then when I put my hands down, my gills decide they want to come out. And me from the side again, if I put my hands up, put my hands down, you can kind of see what I'm working with. Um, and that is the stomach area. All right, legs. Okay, so when I stand here, you're able to see that I still have, I have this like little fat, this fat pack going on here. I did notice it a lot more. It was a lot looser in Colorado. Um... I didn't notice it whenever I was trying to tan that whenever I put my leg up, it's kind of jiggly there. Um, this is from the side. You guys can see that. And this is me from the other side. Um, I do notice that I like my calves are, and that has basically a lot to do with New York. So if you want some major calves, go to New York. <laughs> um, a lot of walking around. So that's, that's that. There's my legs. You guys have seen those. Um, Anyways, so, so yeah, so that's me, and I hope I get to see you guys next week. Thanks so much for following, and yeah, we'll see you guys later. All right, bye.